I hope everybody had a wonderful and safe Halloween. Let's see. Take these two assholes with me. Because I legitimately never do. shake his hand I need a shower makes you wonder if being a treacherous two-timing coward is some sort of contagious disease or if he was just born that way who Graham Bryant <clears throat> if that is his real name I can't just a word that came out of his mouth at first I liked what Graham was doing the iconoclasts were gonna change Halcyon for the better but then, we found out Graham was behind the slaughter of Amber Heights. How can anybody so morally bankrupt lead a movement to transform the colony? Nah, he was sorry for getting found out. Graham never cared about anybody but himself. You'd never do something like that, would you? Slaughter a whole community of innocents? Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's get back to it. I need to put all this ugly business with Graham behind me. What about you, Priesty? What's occupying your thoughts? <clears throat> I must admit to a certain anxiousness. To be able to question Cheney. To get some answers from him. I feel... I don't know... Young again. <laughs> Not quite that young. I like that the vicar is an older, older dude. <clears throat> it's just different. I like it. We move cargo 16 hours a day, and half of us still can't afford a bed. Mechanicals all over. Still got What do you want on bits?
72. Who fucking... That's better. If it isn't the savior of Groundbreaker, what can I do for you? Most places are on the promenade deck. Big door yonder, straight through security. There's a bar on the starboard side. I got a preference for the Lost Hope myself. Talk to Vera, she'll set you right. You need anything else? You let me know. Don't want anyone saying Groundbreaker's not the most hospitable port in the colony. Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Every couple of months, we even get a big interstellar freighter. All right. Be seeing you. Love that guy. Wish he had more dialogue. What's your deal? Carry on. Mm -hmm. What can Groundbreaker security do for you today? Chief Tennyson don't generally hire outsiders for station jobs, but you could try asking at Sublight Salvage. They got an office on the far end of the promenade deck. Hmm. Anything else I can help you with, ma'am? They're run by Miss Hagen. Half the tramp captains and contractors in the system have worked for her. Hmm. I ought to warn you straight off. Scuttlebutt says some of the jobs they do aren't exactly above board. Downright anti-business, if you catch my meaning. Oh, sure, sure, sorry. Gets a mite boring at this desk, you know. Then I get to chatting too much, and Commandant Sunia's gotta reprimand me again, and... Oops, doing it again. Sorry. Can't speak for the captain, but I'm used to listening to folks drone on about their pointless, depressing lives. <laughs> Awful generous of you, <clears throat> listening to me like this. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm here for, ma'am.
sure. And stuff from outside the system, too, off the uh, interstellar freighters. That's why we also have so many armed Mardettes on duty here. That'd be awful weird. On account of you should be locked up back here, too, then. <laughs> All right. That fucking threw him. Less than there used to be. Fewer freighters passing through these days. I spend some shifts just listening to the wireless. Search me. I mean, don't search me, because that's my job. <laughs> Get it? Uh, I reckon you'd have to ask the folks in Byzantium. Unless you're here to file an incident report or to inquire about the bounty posting, I must kindly ask you to clear out. The Mardet's offices aren't for leisure time, nor loitering. Assuming the nature of the incident is both sufficient cause for infraction and under our jurisdiction, I'll take your statement and open an investigation into the matter. Now then, what's happened? Bit of a contradictory one, ain't you? Or were you making an ill-attempted joke? Well, I suppose it ain't a crime to change one's mind. You need me, you know where my offices are. <clears throat> Got a hot one for you. Captain Gunner McRed. Just 26 hours old. Uh, the posting, that is. Not the criminal. Uh, allegations include several counts of flying under the influence, carrying open alcoholic containers, failure to pay docking fees, resisting arrest, and assaulting not one, but two officers. <sighs> Dreadful, ain't it? Such blatant disregard for order. It's a real problem in the youth these days. It's true enough that he ain't particularly deadly, but the interest on each fine being compounded as they are means he'll be paying with his life insurance. Only way to cover it. Last tip we got pointed toward the back bays. You want the reward? Do the legwork. You and about six other enterprising mavericks. It's only a matter of time before someone brings me McRed's head. Or his lucky lighter, as proof of kill. I do hope you're the lucky hunter, though. Good luck and skip speed to you. Do I look like your gossipy best friend? While I'm on post, I take my duties real serious. I would have no qualms whatsoever escorting you to a cell. Understand? God damn. I'm not here for a chat. Now get moving before I see you moved. Damn. We're the security force here on Groundbreaker. Started back before the crossing, you know. The original force was made up of a Marine detachment from the 77th Marine Expeditionary Unit, Trailward Fleet. In other words, they call themselves Mardettes, because it's fancier than guards. You're lucky I got better things to do than arrest you for back sassing an officer, Felix. <laughs> Folks started calling us Mardettes because it was easier to say. Guess it stuck. The outlaw scientist fella, right. The board's had it out for him for ages. To the board, yeah. You've read his wanted poster. Whole list of things to get their unders in a wad. But he's never done nothing to Groundbreaker, so I've no problem with him. We keep the poster up to keep the peace is all. <clears throat> All right, let's see, what's... 
Let's do that. Yep. Come on, guys. Plus, I just love the groundbreaker. I mean, ah, so good. Sign of a uh, fantastic RPG. Have you seen this map? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorists beneath Wells. Report any sightings to your local board embassy. What was I saying? It's, sign, it's the sign of a, a truly great, not just RPG, but game, when uh, it's just enjoyable just to be in the world. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to save. Before whatever happens, happens. Let's see. Yeah, get out. Hey, buddy. Neighbor from above. What brings you to my little moonlight kingdom? Ship got impounded. The crew and I racked up a debt while we were grounded. And my baby got sold to sublight. Scrapped for parts. That's bureaucracy for you. Piracy with a smile. Listen to the fire of those convictions. This one's hungry for justice. Alive or dead? Rare or medium? What's it gonna be? How do you want me cooked, bounty hunter? My flame? Little flick here got me started on the pyro path. Fine. He's yours. Give him a good home. Well, that's a relief. Wasn't too keen on the thought of coming to blows with you. You call your lighter little flick? I'll miss my baby pyro, but it beats losing my head. This court needs its king, and I'm one of a kind. Keen eyes you got there. Sunita gave me this lighter. We had a carnal understanding a few years back. <laughs> well, and she wanted me to have something to remember her by. McCred, is this another one of those situations where you're confusing reality with a mushroom trip? Mushrooms put the ality in reality, Felix. Without mushrooms, it's all just unreal. Any friend of Felix is free to wander, but I got eyes on you. Sure. Okay. I love the artwork in this game. And I just a little bit ago got the bright idea to start taking screen grabs of some of these amazing uh, posters the good folks at Obsidian have come up with. Twenty two degrees outside, you guys. Where I'm at. Anyway. All right. Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leads to the capture of your discovery to be slow. Report any hiding to your local board members. 
How goes the hunt? I've been ruminating on it, and I decided... If you ain't killed McRed yet, I want you to hurt him a little before you do. Nothing excessive, mind you, but the scoundrel deserves a light beating at least before he kicks off. Wow, okay. Oh, hell. <laughs> I just got it. Sorry. I didn't pay close enough attention attention to her name. All right. How goes the hunt? <clears throat> Nothing excessive. He tell you that, did he? I might have kicked his ass from one end of the groundbreaker to the other a few years back. Whatever he reads into that is his business. That ain't how McCred put it. Something obviously happened between you two. Of course, he might have been chewing mushrooms at the time. Don't think too hard on it, Felix. Seriously, don't. Here's the bounty payout. Nice work down there. With any luck, we can hire more sharp-eyed bounty hunters like you in the future. Sure. With that bastard McRed dead, there ain't much else in the offing. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. I could start something if you want. Just say the word. Look at my face, Felix. Do I look like I'm in a mood for your nonsense? Oh, man. So close to level 22. Let's see what... I mean, we have... We have so many quests. There's there's plenty to do, but you know. I just love exploring this world, so seeing what there is to see. Cargos. Careful where you smoke. Learn to keep your eyes to yourself, This is Halcyon Doom. We interrupt your regularly scheduled Yeah, I've done work for Sublight. I hear scary things about Monarch. Remember Auntie Cleo? Because she remembers you. Why do we when let people so heavily armed to your temple? This place has a smell. When you were hungry, it's not just gave me. Gave you a needle full of guns. Auntie Cleo, that's who. A new face. What's your pleasure, stranger? Only the usual. Marauders all over space. You ever wonder how folk who can't figure the bleeding edge technology of a spoon can manage to get ships into space? Need direction? If you're short on bits, you can work off your path. If it wasn't for us, this whole damn station would shut down. Gonna head to Varus for a whiskey and got one more hour before the docks and the board's got to make their ship. Actually, true. No, he's fucking the freezing in the bays. <laughs> if you're short on bits, you can work off your tab. Need directions? Try an engineer. Groundbreaker is a bit of a pain in the skin. Get cooler in here? I swear they had the heat turned way the hell up. Why, it gets you the weapon best suited for you. Yeah, like wrapping barbed wire around a tossball stick. 
Self-improvement, including one's weapons, is always a worthy endeavor. Take your basic Deadeye assault rifle. Perfectly serviceable. But what if you like finesse? Slap a scope and silencer on that bad boy. Bunker down in a bush someplace and pop off heads. What if you like getting in close and making a lot of noise? Extended ammo magazine and a barreled heat sink to bump up rate of fire. So, what can I get you? If it wasn't for us, this whole damn station would shut down. This place has a smell, right? <laughs> He does it. Look at this shiz.
leave me here. Is anyone there? I can hear footsteps. Don't just leave me here. Thank you, stranger. Shit, ain't... You have no idea how good the air on Groundbreaker smells until you've been trapped in a tiny bathroom with an overflowing toilet. Thanks again, friend. What usually happens on this partially pressurized rust bucket? Something broke. Well, actually, two things broke. First, the damn toilet overflowed. When I came to clean that up, the damn door decided to close and lock on me. Time stood still. I was aware of nothing but the smell. Ugh, could have been days. Ah, shit. That means I haven't clocked out in days. Song is gonna have my ass for wage theft. Ew. <clears throat> Who wants to play an impromptu tossball match? No one? Really? Sexy. All I'm saying, son, is you'll generate more force with the proper grip. It's more like this, not like that. No offense, Max, but I think I know my way around the thrustball stick. I got my own set of highly specialized skull cracking techniques. Beautiful. Beautiful. You're on a deft hand with a bag pick. We oh, got boy. this! Apply it!
Okay. Have you tried our D? Oh, it's Martin. Hey, Martin. Still wearing the hat? How observant. I'm authorized to state that this uniform is more than headgear. It's a state of mind, and our customers know the difference. Uh, have a look. Just making sure. Miss <clears throat> hmm. Lilia takes good care of us, see? The authorities pay off our tails. Sublight for life. The corporation's never lifted it. Got any leads on salvage? You following that series? Doesn't even have to be broke yet. We'll take anything. Salvage is a family business. We've got each other's backs. You know, Vic? You're starcher than a spectrum potato. But you got a few left hook. And I respect that. Thanks, I think. Guess I could give you some pointers. Yeah? All right. Let's hear it. Well, most significantly, aside from how you form and angle your fist, is that you cannot just punch with your arm. You must turn your upper body into it to generate any real force. That sounds real complicated. I think I'll stick with the millstone special, which is when I kick a jackass square in the chest. Okay. Welcome to Sublight Salvage mm -hmm. and Shipping, a legitimate business for legitimate consumers. You the one flying the unreliable? Miss Lily has been expecting you. I'll unlock the door. Uh, has she? Sure am. A few years <clears> back, they <throat> got me started on simple acquisitions. You know those latches they put on cargo bays ain't worth a damn? These days, I stick to HQ and look after Miss Lilia. Okay. All right, let me save right now. So I have no clue what I'm about to get into. So you're the new captain in town. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. Saves me the work of hunting you down. Lilia Hagen, CEO and executive director of Aggressive Operations. I'm guessing you already know about Sublight, otherwise you wouldn't have come. Charmed. It's nice to see the Unreliable again. Useful ship. Hawthorne was my contractor. I'd recognize that leaky boat of his anywhere.
I didn't ask. I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable set of wings. But there's a catch. Isn't there always? Does this make us sublight agents now? If you have a nav key to Stellar Bay, the job's yours. Interested? One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high-grade salvage, but he went dark before he could spill the goods. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. Hmm. A few of my contractors run flights in there and out again, working around the board embargo. We keep the community lubricated with a steady supply of booze and unconventional erotica. Byzantium kids with more money than sense can thank Sublight for their good time. One of my guys filmed a Raptodon grinding on an auto mech. Didn't end well for anyone, including the cameraman. Wow. When the board pulled out of Monarch, they buried or sealed anything they couldn't carry off world. Apparently, one of Catherine's teams uncovered an abandoned lab with full tanks of Alta Vitae gas. It's exactly one million bits per cubic meter. Before you get too excited, the only thing rarer than Alta Vitae gas is a reliable buyer. Dangerous stuff. Acid for the nucleon in your cells. It's no good to anyone outside of a lab. Ah, yes. Alta Vitae. I knew someone who inhaled it by accident. I'd never seen anybody spontaneously combust before. I see your friend here is the brains of the operation. Good. Every salvage crew needs one. Now, get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes in the back of your head. Understood? You'll do fine. Probably nothing to worry about. Probably. Well, that set me at ease. Damn, just shy of level 22, you guys. What's going on out there? Or is that the, uh... Oh. Sexy, sexy. Got any leads on salvage? Doesn't even have to be broke yet. Take any. Millstone, sublight agent. I like the sound of that. How does it feel? How does what feel? Serving an instrument of corporate supremacy. Let me hazard a guess. You're talking about the church. Isn't it true the OSI is just a cog in the machine of oppression? I'm glad you're asking questions, Felix. Curiosity is the foundation of the scientician faith. Don't try and convert me, preacher. Oh, these two. I swear. So much to do. All right, guys. I'm going to call that a sesh for now. Uh, because uh, I got to go take care of my dog. Get some breakfast. Probably take a shit. 
All right, but I will be back with some more Outer Worlds. You can bet your ass on that. All right. Later, guys. I love you.